Throughout WoW's history, there have been times where certain classes have been much stronger than others in PvP. And today, we're going to be sharing with you the strongest PvP class specs in Wrath of the Lich King. These classes are going to be rated based off duels, world PvP, and battlegrounds. Starting off with the Unholy Death Knight. With having access to great survivability due to anti-magic zone and bone shield, Death Knights are definitely the more beefy class in WoW. High CC from their consistent slows from Desecration which will literally always plague the arena and having Chains of Ice, a massive slow on the target. It makes it very very difficult to get away from Death Knights in general. If you think those are the best things about Unholy, you have another thing coming. Their powerful offensive cooldown Gargoyle has the potential to kill targets completely by itself. The only downside is that it can be CC'd. The Unholy Death Knight is a plague to the arena and is absolutely insane in the right hands. With constant CC, powerful burst cooldowns, and great team utility, Death Knight is incredible come Wrath of the Lich King. Moving along now to number 2, Full Elemental Shaman. Known for some of the highest burst damage in the game. With the addition to a consistent pressure ability with Lava Burst and now obtaining a new passive, Lightning Overload for their Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning abilities, Shaman is once again, with no shocker here, incredibly bursty again. Adding this with their incredibly buffed new Elemental Mastery, they can get a Lava Burst and potentially two Chain Lightnings in one global cooldown. They also gain access to much needed Pressure Diffuser in Thunderstorm. Don't forget about the fact that Shaman also brings insane utility baked into the kit, with all their totems buffing the team, as well as having Grounding Totem and Purge. It's very obvious that having the highest burst damage of the game paired with amazing utility will earn you a place on this list. Now going to number 3, Feral Druid. The Feral Druid is definitely an underappreciated arena performer in Wrath of the Lich King. With the ability to toss out instant cast cyclones or healing due to predatory strikes, massive damage and crowd control from their brand new offensive cooldown Berserk, and the Feral Druid version of Kidney Shot, Maim, makes Feral a much bigger contender in 3v3 arenas. On top of having their high damage over time abilities, they now have some access to mini go windows due to Tiger's Fury costing no energy and giving you a nice buff for a short period. Now all this damage is nice, but we can't seem to forget about the biggest issues with Feral, Raw Defensives. With the new expansion, they are supplied with the addition of their brand new defensive, Survival Instinct, a 30% maximum health increase for a whopping 20 seconds. Adding this to the very high mobility and instant healing on yourself, Feral becomes a much stronger and is very powerful come Wrath. Moving on to number 4, Shadow Priest. Shadow Priest was always pretty good in PvP but in Wrath of the Lich King, they honestly just get out of control and easily become one of the strongest duelists in the game. With an insane amount of spread pressure with their dots, Shadow Ward Pain, Vampiric Touch, and Devouring Plague, they can absolutely shred through battleground teams completely on their own. They deal massive pressure to teams in the arena as well. It's also important to note that they are equipped with Dispel Protection from Vampiric Touch, because if you dispel it, you take a chunk of instant damage as well. So normally, your dots should be taking on targets usually for almost their full duration. They can also deal immense bursts with Mind Blast and their Execute Shadow or Death to finish off targets. To help with some survivability, they have access to the brand new talent Psychic Horror, which is a stun and disarm effect, as well as improved Shadow Form to remove all movement impairing effects on yourself when you use Fade in Shadow Form, which helps for kiting as well. Lastly, they have access to their biggest defensive, Dispersion, which is a fantastic get out of jail free card to help you get out of a sticky situation like being low health in arenas, or having a bunch of people try to get on you in battlegrounds. Don't forget about their insane healing from Vampiric Embrace either. It is absolutely nuts how much healing you can do if you have your full dots rolling on someone and you're just dealing your damage. Shadow Priest overall is so strong in PvP due to the consistent damage and massive healing slash utility they bring to the party, making them a mandatory choice to have on this list. Going on to our final DPS member on the list, Affliction Warlock. Affliction Warlock is officially the master of spread pressure, the class that is known for their massive amount of damage over time effects to actually just rot entire armies down. They also have some of the best dispel protection in the game with Unstable Affliction, which deals massive damage to the target and silences them if they dispel it. With another brand new damage over time ability added to their kit, Haunt, this gives them even more spread pressure and survivability. They also have access to an incredibly powerful execute ability in Drain Soul, which will definitely help them secure a nice amount of kills as well. You will also be tossing out instant Shadow Bolts for some pretty nice burst damage with the Nightfall passive with your Corruption Damage Ticks. The damage and pressure the Affliction Warlock class brings also brings helpful utility with Healthstone and some more movement with Demonic Circle Summoning. Overall, Affliction is fantastic in Wrath of the Lich King, 
for PvP in almost every single scenario, making them fantastic for this list. And finally, we have another great healing spec with Discipline Priest. This spec gets loads of buffs coming into Wrath of the Lich King, starting off with access to their new talent, Rapture, which gives you 5% mana when your Power Ward shield breaks or gets dispelled. Divine Aegis, which gives you 30% absorbed shield for the amount healed by your spells, and Borrow Tine, which increases your haste by 25% when you use Power Ward Shield, which is excellent for you, giving the opportunity to toss out more heals. Lastly, you have the most iconic Discipline of Priest ability in the game, Penance. This heal is by far their strongest ability on a very short cooldown. This ability will proc some of your bonus healing talents as well, making it even more powerful. Holy Paladin, I think, is still the best, but definitely do not sleep on how powerful Disciplined Priest is overall in arenas. They are almost never casting Flash of Light due to them using Prayer Amending, Renew, Power Ward Shield, and Penance, really allowing them to almost never have to cast a spell, keeping them on the move constantly, and pumping out really, really solid heals. With all the changes to these classes, we think that they are incredible now for PvP, and they definitely make the list. Death Knight being the new kid on the block as an undead juggernaut, Elemental Shaman being the master of utility and wielder of high burst, tossing out insane damage lava burst. Feral Druid being the most mobile class in the game with CC and high damage burst with Cyclones as well. Shadow Priest being one of the best duelists in the game with their insane damage and self-sustain. Affliction Warlock with the most spread pressure in the game that just melts teams down solo. And lastly, Discipline Priest being one of the best healers in the game. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out our previous video of 6 OP PvP classes in Wrath of the Lich King. As you can see, in Wrath of the Lich King, there are some pretty substantial changes to many classes, making a lot of them shine in the PvP spotlight. So many classes that were neglected over the course of Classic and TBC actually get pretty substantial buffs, allowing them to at least be allowed to play in PvP. Classes that were literally a meme not too long ago are now sought after for arenas. Wrath of the Lich King is so much better at creating opportunities for a wide variety of specializations. I'm really excited to see how the player base reacts with these new buffs and all these massive class changes. I'm really curious to see if there are going to be arena comps that are going to be meta that weren't before in the past. We haven't even come close to going through all the changes, but we wanted to save that for another video to continue the series. We're going to be doing some more OP class lists for Wrath in the future, so make sure to stay tuned. My name's Sky from the Comeback Kids, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!